Ago, June 13, 1926. And where? Marseille, France. And uh, how did you happen to start dancing? How old were you? Uh, I started dancing when I was 17. I uh, started dancing, uh, I was uh, an extra at the uh, opera house in my uh, town, and uh, that's where I came to the dance. So I started dancing when I was 17. Uh, myself and Beja together. Professional dancing job was the Ballet de Monte Carlo Petrushka. That's the first ballet I've done when I got to Monte Carlo. How did you get the job in the Monte Carlo I, company? I passed an audition after, right after the liberation. I went to Monte Carlo and I was just there on the right time in the right place because it wasn't any man. I was not a very good dancer at that time, let me tell you. But uh, they hired me, so I was very happy. And this is the story of my life since then, I never stopped. 1945. How old were you then? I was uh, 19 years old. So you'd only been dancing two years? Yep. And, and, you, and you got a professional job? Yep. I liked in Monte Carlo. In Monte Carlo, I was from, uh, well, 1946 to uh, uh, 19, 1950, 50, 51, no, more than that, I'm sorry, 53, 54. That because the Ballet de Monte Carlo became the Grand Ballet du Marquis de Cuevas. Oh, so the Marquis de Cuevas mm -hmm. took over the company. There was, yeah, he bought the company from the Société des Bains de Mer in Monte Carlo. He, the Marquis was, uh, uh, he was a good man, he was a funny man also. He didn't, uh, he was a mécène, what well, we call in French a mécène. And fortunately for him, he was married with Rockefeller's granddaughter. So the money was coming in every month. And he had the opportunity to have a company of 60 people, 60 dancers. And the company was very, very good. We had a ballet from uh, Madame Nijeska, especially, uh, Massine, especially Massine also. Uh, let's see, uh, and a lot, lot, of, lot of choreographs. Li Xin also, Li Xin was very, very good. They, we had, it was wonderful. We put all our petit and I was with Beja, both of them. And they are very, very excellent choreographs. They are a little different than uh, pure classic ballet, but they're wonderful. What they do is incredible. It's in Cairo, uh, Syria, Lebanon, Brazil, Argentina, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, it's close to Argentina, Montevideo. Montevideo, uh, then it's in Santiago de Chile, in Lima, Peru, in uh, Panama Canal, in Mexico City, uh, Rome, uh, Rome we did a ballet uh, with uh, the first ballet that Sofia Loren did called uh, uh, we, shot, we shoot at the Chinichita studio. It was very, very, very interesting, very good. I really enjoyed that. I dance with uh, uh, Chauvire, I dance with uh, uh, Janine Chara, I danced with the ballerina also, was Josette Clavier was very, very good. And uh, I don't remember, I danced with a lot of them, yeah. For me, she is a greatest, the greatest teacher and the greatest choreographer in the world. For me, it's two choreographers in the United States. For me, it's Nijinska and Massimi.
that, that's a big story. I was, uh, you know, in, in France you have to do your military service at 20 years old. And, uh, but I was traveling with the company all the time and I never could do my military service. So one morning the police came and got me because uh, they say you, you didn't do anything. So I went with them, they put me in the camp in uh, Versailles and it was a very bad place because uh, I was considered a DW, you know, the, the not, you know. So um, I was working on the railroad at 5.30 in the morning for uh, a week. And a week after that, fortunately, with the people who know the right people, the Marquis called the first minister of France, Mr. Plevin. And Mr. Plevin called the commander of the camp where I was. So from one day to another, I was the secretary of the company commander, and I didn't have to sleep on the train and that. It was wonderful. <laughs> How many years were you in the ballet Marquis de Cuevas before they took you into the military? I was, uh, it was in 19, uh, 1951. They came and get me in 1951, and uh, because I spoke English, uh, I didn't go to any boots camp. I went right away to the uh, Eisenhower headquarters in Paris, in uh, Marlinois. And I was working in the office. We were dealing with uh, uh, secret document. And uh, we had, a, on the other side of the door, we had a 2MP who was working with us every time we went to an office because we had a paper. Yeah.